Okay. Hi guys, I'm back. So this time what we're going to do is we're going to show you what I did. Essentially, I went in and I created a new file. RxB. Now I tried to include the uh, Apparently, I need to read instructions. I tried to include the lower um, TI basic area in making a file, but that crashed over and over again. So there's something wrong with trying to do that. When you try to load a module, it won't load the TI basic area. Uh, it crashes. So obviously, I, I need to read more. But the module portion does work. So basically, what we have here is we have from the files that we have are like this is our normal file right here. Now I've added in, oh, excuse me, that's the uh, EA module. Three, four, five, six, seven. There you go. It's right there. Pop you right there. Is this it? No. Learn and learn. It's this one. There it is right there. What I had to do is I had to change these two bytes right here to uh, the address of where the uh, power-up routine was. You won't allow you to save the file because you never can get back in to save the file in the first place with csave from my arc uh, because it never goes to that point. It just it has two different grams and so it won't let you do it with the power-up there. It never goes back to the title screen. So the way around the problem is to simply load the file save it without a power up and then change these two bytes with a hex editor. So how I did it was I went into my uh, files right uh, let's see what was it three six it's the wrong one the heck was it three? My God, I'm getting old. Anyways, this power up byte is right here. It's just in front of the program byte. So it's A, 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 it'll be the header byte, then your version number, then the uh, number of programs you have that run. And then you have a, a reserve byte that's not used by anything. And then you have your power up right here. So I changed that to the uh, byte bat value I wanted to. Anyways, I wanted to show you what happens. If you go into the cartridge, open it, and then I've got this new one saved for 2012 right there, then I can load it. There it is, it works. And the power up works too, because if you go to the debugger, and then you go to VDP, and look at that address, look at you there, there you go, there is your uh, address for the page number you just loaded from. Now why it says 983C I don't know because that's not actually the page it loads in as far as I know. So that's another problem at the moment. I'll have to double check this. Uh, I can check this by doing a, a simple peek which I'll do later. But uh, everything works. So I have found a solution to the problem. So Tercy can go a little bit less crazy about what I'm doing here. It's not high priority how to fix it now. Thank you very much, guys. We'll talk to you later.